how our boats perform on the water is ultimately why they become so popular. How a boat rides is a factor of many design elements. The hull shape, reverse chines, lifting strakes, and weight distribution. And another important measurement that you've probably heard of but may not completely understand is dead rise. So how do our boats measure up when it comes to dead rise? What is it? Why is it important? And why do you see such variations from one manufacturer to another? Let's take a close look at the underside of a couple of boat hulls in construction. So by definition, dead rise is a measurement of the degree of angle of two surfaces. In the case of a boat, dead rise is the degree of angle the bottom rises from a horizontal plane. So the center of a boat's hull is the keel. We can use a digital protractor to measure the degree of dead rise on this hull. These two planes are engineered to come together at a predetermined angle. In this case, at this point on the hull, the degree of dead rise is 10 degrees. But here's why dead rise can be very confusing and even misleading in some cases. There is no consistent method that all manufacturers use to measure dead rise. And many only provide a single measurement that is usually taken here at the transom. But even that doesn't tell you the whole story. The dead rise here at the transom is 10 degrees. But as we move forward on the hull, the dead rise changes. Here forward on the hull, the dead rise is much steeper, 15 degrees on this particular model. Moving forward towards the bow, the angle is even steeper. Every model's hull is going to be different. A river jet style boat will have a very low angle of dead rise, which allows the boat to travel in very shallow water. An offshore deep V boat will have a very steep dead rise. When you look on a website or in a brochure, you'll see a dead rise listed, but rarely does it tell you where the measurement was taken. Obviously, if they listed a 60 degree dead rise, but didn't tell you if it was at the bow, forward, or the transom, it could be extremely misleading. A dead rise measurement taken here at the steepest location, which doesn't even come in contact with the water, can give you false expectation of a boat's performance. This is why it's often very difficult to do an apples to apples comparison on various models from different manufacturers. Here at Renaissance Marine Group, we're changing the way we measure dead rise to make it easier for you. We've adopted a standardized system that doesn't just give you a single measurement but three distinct measurements of dead rise. Our transom dead rise measurement is always taken here at the very stern of the boat's hull. The forward measurement is taken here at the exact point where the bulkhead is welded to the bottom. The bow measurement is taken at a point halfway between the forward measurement and the front of the boat. These three dead rise measurements give you a good basis of comparison from one boat to another. They're important because they give you a good idea of how the boat's hull will slice through the waves and chop how deep the boat will sit in the water on plane and at rest, and how the boat will react when turning or trolling. But remember, dead rise is only one factor. The width, weight, reverse chine, and engine choice all have important effects as well. To compare different models, have every manufacturer give you the same three dead rise measurements we have. But remember, the ultimate test is how the boat performs on the water. Just because one brand has a 42 degree dead rise and another has a 36 degree dead rise doesn't necessarily mean one will ride smoother or perform better than the other. It's just one factor, an important factor. But again, get the boat on the water and go for a ride. You'll see firsthand why our bottom design is nothing short of exceptional. <laughs>